Hi there, Jonathan Dawson with a Cellcology strategy that you can use with your next customer concerning the math of a cardial. Over the next five videos that I'm gonna prepare for you, I'm gonna discuss the math or the numbers behind the car deal and share with you some Cellcology strategies that you can implement and use with your next customer to make the math make sense. In this first video, what I'm gonna share with you is I'm gonna share with you some changes in language that I use and that I teach. Now, if you're already a Cellcology University subscriber, if your dealership is on my online university, you wanna to go to the segment in Sales 401 and look at the math segment. There's a whole bunch more depth that I get into there, but over the next couple of minutes, what I'm gonna give you is some nuggets of some language you can change and how you can set up the expectation of your customer so that the math makes sense. Let's start with some changes in our wording. So first of all, what I use is I use the word computer and management a lot when I'm referring to my managers. So what I would change is instead of saying, let me go check with my manager, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say, let me let me run this by the management. Now the psychology or the psychology behind that is when you say management, you're diversifying or spreading the responsibility and authority across a panel or across a council. Instead of an individual person, instead of let me go check with my manager who could be having a good or bad day, I'm saying, you know, this is something I'd have to run past the management or I'm gonna to have to ask a member of the management team about this what that does is defers responsibility therefore it's not a singular person who's making the deal good or bad now the other thing is I use the word computer a lot as well so what I'll say is I'm gonna to have to put this into the computer or I'm gonna say you know I'm gonna to have to load this into the computer and see what the computer generates for us you know that's a scenario I'd like to run uh, run, go, run past the management and have them put it in the computer and the computer will generate a new proposal so again, I try to defer the responsibility, taking it away from an individual manager. Also, I'll change language in the deal. For example, I'll say things like the value price of your new car instead of saying the sale price of the car. I'll talk about the fair market value of the vehicle you are selling to us instead of talking about trade-in value. And so changing the language a little bit changes the dynamic of what the customer's hearing, especially if it's new language they've never heard before. Using terminology like initial investment instead of terminology like um, down payment or talking about things like monthly investment instead of talking about monthly payment. So all of this then contributes to a completely different perception the customer has. New language creates new perceptions. New perceptions create new realities for customers. So when I put all these pieces together, it changes the, the words that I use, which change the way people perceive my offer. Now let me give you some more examples of this language change. Some other things that I do that are a little bit different is I like to set expectations up front early for the customer, and I wanna make sure that expectation management what that'll do is that'll, that'll help me set frustration management. So expectation management equals frustration management. The more I manage the customer's expectations of what's gonna happen, the more I'm managing their frustration of what might happen. So when I sit down with my customer for the first time to get the numbers put together and put in front of them, prior to going and getting the worksheet of the proposal, prior to doing that step, I'm gonna let the customer know exactly what's about to happen. It'll sound something like this. I'll say, Mr. Jones, what I'm about to do for you and on your behalf is I'm gonna go ahead and get a proposal from the management on the vehicle that you've selected. And when I get that proposal, what will be on that sheet, well, I'll have examples such as the, the value price of the vehicle that you've selected. It'll also show the fair market value of the vehicle uh, that you're gonna be selling to us. And the computer will typically generate several payment scenarios or investment scenarios for you to consider for your next vehicle. So what I'm gonna do is get that for you next and I'll be right back, is that okay? The customer says, sure, thanks. I get up and go get the worksheet. When I come back from my management and I sit down in front of you, the customer, I'm going to say this very subtle and simple yet very powerful phrase. I'm gonna say, you know, Mr. Jones, I've got the worksheet or the proposal from the, mem uh, from the management. I'm gonna go over it with you. If you have any questions or if there's anything that doesn't make sense, I want you to feel free to ask me, is that okay? When the customer says yes to this, this will prevent three common challenges that you have when it comes to the numbers. The copy request customer, the ejection seat customer, and the staring contest customer.
We've all had customers, we present a worksheet and immediately they go for the copy request. Like you work at Kinko's or something. They're gonna say something like, you know, hey, can I get a copy of that and I'll let you know. Well, the way you offset that is by doing the technique I just gave you. If you have an ejection seat customer, that's the customer you present the sheet, they look at it and they go, this doesn't work for me and they boom, jump out of the seat and they're now gonna bail on you. Or the third customer, the staring contest, who looks at you, looks at the sheet, looks at you, looks at the sheet, looks at you, looks at the sheet, doesn't say anything. You can fix all three by simply saying, Mr. Jones, I've got a proposal here from the management. I'm gonna go over it with you. If you have any questions or anything doesn't make sense, feel free to ask, is that okay? Mr. Jones says yes, and now you've invited them into a conversation about the numbers. This has been a six-minute cellcology strategy, and I'm gonna be sharing with you four more of breaking down the math over the next several videos. I hope you like this, and I look forward to seeing you online. Thanks for interacting with me, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.